no better remedy to beat the summer heat than a nice dip at your nearest swimming spot. Swimming is relaxing, refreshing, and a good way to spend time with your friends, but you might not be aware of some swimming spots out there that look good in your eyes. And here's the thing, they may look good in your eyes, but they are not good at all for your health or your safety. Today we're going to be looking at some of the places where you should never go in for a swim, even if you really wanted to. Who knows, maybe you'll find one of these spots as near where you are. Stay tuned for the day's best pick as I'll reveal a lake of crazy colors and my number one pick which is also very tempting. But these are both places you should definitely stay away from. Number 10. The Boiling Lake. Hot springs are not necessarily the places where you can go out for a swim, but they definitely allow for some relaxation and spoiling for your skin and your overall well-being. Out in Dominica, you'll find a place called the Boiling Lake. At first sight, you might think this is a huge hot spring pool where you can sink and relax, but the water temperature is actually hotter than what your body can handle. There's a reason why it's called the Boiling Lake, and that's because there's hot magma beneath the surface of the lake, making it reach boiling point temperature levels. If you've ever messed around with boiling water in the kitchen, you know how bad that thing can burn. Imagine putting your whole body inside a pool of water with a temperature as hot as that, though. You'll get a lot of blisters and, well, you'll probably die. So if you ever find yourself in Dominica and you come across the boiling lake, you might want to avoid getting in it. Number 9. Devil's Pool. When you look at the pictures of Victoria Falls in Zambia, you immediately realize that such a place is not to be messed with, even if the heat of the country can be quite exhausting. But actually, there's quite a famous swimming spot on the edge of these falls, and the name is the Devil's Pool. This place is not forbidden or illegal to swim in, but is definitely not the kind of place where you jump in to take city photos and defy nature with selfies. This pool formed right at the place where the water runs before going down the waterfall, one of the largest in the world. There are over 500 million liters of water going down every minute. So you better be ready to feel the pressure and the thrill of being at the top of such a dangerous place. Don't go for a swim, unless you're with a local guide who can give you some safety tips. Also, this is not a place you should come to during the months between February and July. That's when the spot is usually close and when the water levels are not favorable. You could always break the rules, but I wouldn't risk it. Definitely not here. Number 8. Jacob's Well. Next on my list, a lake in Texas so clear that you can actually see its bottom. Okay, it's not like you can't swim in it. The water is very cool and refreshing, and it'll make you feel good after a long day under the Texas sun. However, the part you want to avoid is its underwater system of caves and tunnels where many people have gone missing. I'm sure you can agree that exploring the depths of a clear lake sounds tempting, but just because something sounds exciting, it doesn't mean we gotta go and try it. Some things are better left unexplored, especially if you want to live. Number 7. The Nile River. For centuries, the Nile River has been of great importance to some of the world's greatest civilizations. But just because it's a relevant body of water, it doesn't mean it's a perfect spot for you to dive in and swim. And it's not because of a strong current or the navigation that goes on, but because the place is full of crocodiles. Yeah, I'm sure there are more dangerous animals in the world, but the crocodile is very likely to end your life if you were to encounter one swimming in the Nile. Every year, there are about a hundred crocodile attacks reported in the North African area of the Nile. Instead of swimming, jump on a cruise and grab a pair of binoculars to admire the amazing natural beauty surrounding the Nile. Number 6. Bubbly Creek. Chicago, an American city full of tourist attractions worth checking out. Millennium Park, the Navy Pier, Willis Tower, a beautiful sky deck, what's there not to love? Well, I might have an answer for you, and it's called Bubbly Creek, a section of the Chicago River where you are highly discouraged from swimming. Why? Just looking at the toxic shade of green might give you an answer. This is the spot where the drainage of a lot of houses is emptied in. This includes any regular rubbish that goes down the sink along with pieces of leftover meat and human feces, among other nasty stuff you probably don't want to know about. As the stuff begins to decay, bubbles start to form, which explains the name of the creek. This place is so toxic that no fish or other animal can live in it. I kind of doubt that anybody going in here would come out intact. Number 5. Lake Karache. Lake Karache is the kind of spot you'd like to have printed on a postcard or put in a nice frame for your living room. It's very picturesque. However, this is also a spot that the Russian government filled with toxic waste at a time when these actions were not regulated or sanctioned. They say that you will likely die in no more than an hour after you're done swimming in it. 
The good news is that the lake is going to disappear in a few years the government fills it with concrete, erasing any memories from it. The view of the landscape will no longer be the same, but at least the locals won't have to worry about any visitors trying to jump in the water without measuring the consequences. Number 4. Hoover Dam Swimming at Hoover Dam can end in one of two ways. You either lose your life or you get arrested. Swimming here is illegal and the main reason for it is the danger it entails for swimmers to get across this body of water. There have been a lot of casualties due to the water coming from the top to the bottom of the dam and also because of its many spillways. There are many turbines at the bottom that can easily suck down any swimmer that dares to come close. Back over in 2017, a drunk bachelor jumped in the dam after 37 hours of partying hard. He swam from side to side and was able to make it out alive. Luckily, only one of the 10 turbines was on, which made the pulling less strong than what it usually is. However, the police were ready to arrest the man after such a crazy action. He was arrested and then released after he paid a $330 fine. He says he doesn't regret it, but he is one lucky man. Things would probably have been different if all the turbines had been on. Number 3. The Blue Lagoon of Buxton The calming shade of blue of this lake will probably make you want to go for a swim as soon as you see it. But this is again one of those places where you shouldn't even put your feet in. This lagoon in Derbyshire is known to have high pH levels, which makes it as alkaline as bleach. Would you go for a swim in a lake full of bleach? I don't think so. Also, locals have warned visitors that the place is a dumping ground where a lot of car junk, dead animals, and excrement are emptied in. And yet still, some visitors have insisted on swimming and some parents have taken their children for a quick dip, just warning them not to put their heads inside the water and not to swallow it. Oh god, parent of the year! <sighs> for that reason, people around the lake poured black dye in the water to turn it into a less appealing spot. They even considered draining the water out of the lake, but the place is so toxic that it was impossible to do this. The black dye in some signs should keep people away unless they really are stubborn and like to test their limits just for the sake of it because let's be honest here, we're kinda dumb. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This picture is the one that made me want to know more about unusual places where I can go for a swim. That's when I learned that a lot of the cool lakes and rivers that look nice and exotic are not necessarily good for swimming. But when I saw this pink lake, which many people call the pepto Bismo Lake, I immediately put it on my bucket list. Lake Hiller is as odd as the place where it's located. An island that was undiscovered until 1802, which is quite late compared to the rest of the world in Western Australia. This is within the Research Archipelago. The pink shade of this lake is best appreciated from an aerial view as it contrasts with the lush forest around it, but you can still appreciate it down while walking on the island. Best of all, swimming is absolutely safe. I know, after checking out some of the alluring colors of some of the lakes on this list, you probably think this pink lake can be quite deceiving. However, the pink color comes from the lake's high levels of salt, which can make you float like the way people do out in the Dead Sea. There's nothing wrong with salt, otherwise you wouldn't even go into the ocean water. The only bad thing is that regular tourists are not allowed to visit at this point, but that might change soon. So get your swimsuit ready because you won't want to miss this one. And now let's check out my last two picks for places in the world where you shouldn't swim, even if you wanted to. Number 2. The Amazon Basin Down in South America is the largest natural drainage system in the world, the Amazon River. This majestic body of water passes through the countries of Peru, Bolivia, Venezuela, Colombia, and Brazil. With such a diverse variety of flora and fauna, it is not surprising that some of the creatures over here are not necessarily looking to become your friends. In fact, they might be hungry and you'll easily become their dinner if you want to go for a swim in these waters. Alligators, anacondas, piranhas, and eels. They'll be quite happy for your visit, but I'm not sure you'd feel the same way. The most threatening of them all is the one called the Kandiru, which is known to invade your private parts if you decide to urinate in the water. Whether or not this is true, I guess you won't want to risk having an infection just to find out. Stay on your boat and enjoy the view. There's no need to swim here. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Lake Victoria. Peaceful, calming, relaxing. Lake Victoria has everything we look for in a swimming spot. It's the second largest body of freshwater in the world and it hosts an archipelago of 80 islands. But don't let the sights fool you. This is also the lake where around 5,000 people die each year. 
How is that possible in such a serene environment? The lake actually has its own microclimate, which means that the lake's weather conditions can change in the blink of an eye and are not dependent on its surroundings. Even going on a boat can be dangerous here. One moment it can be warm and sunny when suddenly it turns into heavy rains and stormy winds that easily break boats and even the best swimmers have a hard time surviving. Lake Victoria is a site you don't want to miss during your visit to the African continent, but you might not want to come too close to it. And that's our video for today, folks. Would you dare to go swim at one of these spots? Which one of these is the most interesting to you and what do you think of that pink lake in Australia? Let us know in the comment section down below and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.